Oi oi Rainbow Chasers, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be building something a bit rad and it's bad to the bone. Da -da 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 -da. My name's Neil Cotton and this is Chase the Rainbow. Oh yeah. So, for oh, this is nice, this is like a big reveal. So this is the all new singing and dancing Sonder Evil mullet. So it's gone from 29 to mullet, 27.529. It's fresh at the factory. I've added a few bits already. Nice little pink detail there. And there, put the bottom bracket cups in and the headset cups. And now I'm gonna put it together. Stick around. So, I've got a bunch of spanky components. Some are swapping over from the Pink Panther, my previous Evo, the 29er, uh, like my Physic Gaby saddle, because it's still in good nick. Uh, some bits are gonna be brand new. Hope 155 cranks, partly because I wanted 155 cranks, I like short cranks, and partly because they give me another 10 mil on the dropper seat post, which means I might have to get a longer one in. Which means it might be fitting uh, a 175 transfer. That was dirt cheap, man, like 110 quid on chain reaction. It should be 380, that's unbelievable. If that doesn't go in, uh, the 150 will be going in. What else we got? Oh, we got loads of stuff. Some stuff's going back on, uh, some stuff's new. Because I'm going pink. And pink and orange instead of or orange and pink instead of pink and orange this time. Uh, I've had to buy new bars because they're 35 mil. Uh, Berg Tech Stem, uh, Brand Dog Death Grips. I've got some new brake levers because mine were they'd seen better days really. I'll keep the old ones as spares. What else have we got? And a chain guard. Oh, that's good. The new frame. One of the changes, apart from geometry, uh, you know the obvious fact that there's a smaller wheel in the back. Uh, it's got an ISCG mount, so I can put my chain guard on direct. It's a direct mount. That's nice. What else can I tell you? Uh, yeah, it's going from, the new model is now 156 rear travel and 160 on the front, uh, which is nice. I like that. So it's more kind of enduro light than it was trail. Even though I built the previous one to be kind of enduro light, I built it quite robust. Uh, what else is going on? Of course, the Olin's fault. That's going on. Custom decals, obviously. Uh, yeah, that's that. Yeah, and a load of other bits. I'll show you as we go along. Okay. First job is to put some uh, infernal cable routing in. I'll do that and then come back to you. Whoa. She's looking good already. Beautiful. Uh, so as you can see, uh, I got a bit carried away. I've done all the cable routing. Uh, a few nice little touches. Look, I like the little, uh, it's the tiny little touches that make the difference. Little orange end caps and things like that. Uh, yeah, so the infernal cable routing wasn't too bad. It is a bit of a pain in the arse, but you only do it once and it does look nice, doesn't it, when it's finished. It look, does look loads better. Uh, fortunately, my very good friend, Neil Hutchinson, who's a very nice man, lent me his Lifeline cable routing set, little magnetic set. Man, that makes life so much easier, I've got to say. Um, yeah, yeah, that makes life a lot easier. I'm gonna have to invest in one of those. Although hopefully I won't have to do any infernal cable routing for another three years now. Uh, also, uh, slight continuity error, although, you know, I'm looking like identical. Uh, I got called away for two days uh, on a breakdown, so I'm kind of back in the shed now to carry on. We're going to carry on. Um, I'm going to put the crank in, put the uh, chain guard on, sort out the cables, get those all kind of plumbed in. And then after that, I've got to strip and clean the cali rear caliper and front caliper. 
uh, do a full brake bleed and stuff and all that uh, malarkey and uh, we'll see how we go I'll, I'll do a couple of little in between build shots and uh, uh, and we'll carry on shall we yeah are you still here mm -hmm. result most of you are gone by now normally I'm going to drop the rear mech on this is a uh, well, it's about three years old now. It's a uh, Shimano XTR 11 speed. I like 11 speed. I don't feel the need to go up to 12 speed at the minute, and I don't use the great big, uh, you know, pizza sized uh, sprockets on the rear anyway. I use an 1142 cassette. And I, for racing and, and what have you, I'm running a 32 on the front. Normally I run 32 or 34. So I'm going to drop this on so I can size it for the cable, get that sorted. That's that's now. Okay. Lovely. One thing I forgot to mention was that on the XTR I've been able to fit 13 tooth jockey wheels instead of the 11 tooth so uh, that's a nice little upgrade also. I don't know if you can do it on all Shimano Max but you can on the XTRs and there's plenty of room for it so uh, yeah good touch. Right so I've got all the cables and hoses attached all went quite nicely actually uh, I've left the dropper one slightly long in case I've got to put the shorter post in, in which case I'll need an extra 20 or 30 mil of cable. Uh, the brake hose on the front is a bit tight. It's, it's alright just, but because I've increased the travel from 150 to 160 uh, and I do cut my hoses quite snug, it's very snug. So I reckon I'm going to have to get a new hose for that. Uh, I've got to do a full brake lead calipers and levers um, at the end. I won't do that yet. Uh, I think it's going all right apart from that. Um, yeah so now I'm going to fit a super spanky Hope uh, Evo cranks and the 30 tooth Bowtech uh, direct mount chainring in toxic Barbie pink because we like it because it's rad. Yeah, I'll crack on with that, shall I? Yeah, I'm gonna pop her in. Yeah, so the Evo cranks, these are lovely, man, right? Uh, dead easy, just slide in and bolt up. The original ones, they were a bit of a faff. You had to fanny about a bit. Um, and I'm an engineer, and even I thought they were a bit of a faff, so anybody who's not used to working with things like that would have probably found them a bit of a nightmare. Which is why I think they simplified them, and they simplified them massively now. They just go together and screw together. That's it. Dead easy. 30 mil. Look at that, straight in. Yeah, 30 mil shaft. So nice and chunky. We like that. We like chunky. Don't like chunky women, but I do like a chunky crank. Sorry, ladies. I don't think lithium grease is ideal on there, but it'll, it'll do. It's better for bearings. I've lost my ratchet. Where have I put my ratchet? I found it, now I've found my ratchet. That's it. Look at that. You just wiggle her on. mostly <laughs> not like that oh dear that's a bit tight that's not right that's not right 
I've just talked a good game, haven't I? Talked them up. <laughs> Told you how good they are. And now I'm uh, adding to faff. Oh, I've not put an air oil on the thread. Yeah. Right, then he's just 50 newton meters with the torque wrench. up the play there's a little ring on the other side you just take up the uh, MRP SXG chain device or slipper on. Might have to adjust the uh, chain line on it, not sure yet until I've done it. Nice chain device, these they're adjustable from 30 to 34 teeth, which is one of the main reasons why I bought it to be honest because I like to run different size chain rings from time to time. Looks like it might. Oh no, I think I'm going to have to space it out. Space it up. Making hard work at this. Thought that was a nifty trick. See how that sits in terms of alignment. Right, have to put another spacer in, yeah. I don't know, that doesn't look bad actually. Kind of looks alright. Might need a smaller spacer actually. Looking at it. Yeah, I reckon I might need a smaller spacer in there. Yeah, come out a little bit too far. There's a number of different sizes, so I'm going to have to try the small ones. It's looking pretty spanky, isn't it, now? 
four. Uh, right, next. Wow. Wheels, chain, paddles. It's bad, it, isn't it? And then just final tweaks that hose, of course. Locked out most of the bolts, make sure everything's set up right, do all the usual stuff. Then I've got to work on my fore and aft uh, weight balance on the bike, decide how I want it, how I want the cockpit set up. See if I can get away with the 180, uh, 175, sorry, dropper. We'll find that out very shortly. Fingers crossed. Something else to show you. Well, you may have noticed earlier, but I'm a big fan of little touches, you know, little orange end caps and stuff. So, cable ends. I've got a little set of uh, Shimano pad bolts done in uh, what do you call it oil slick rainbow whatever you want would have liked to have got pink or orange but couldn't get them so I thought oil slick would do it's nice and so I've also which I've got anyway oil slick rotor bolts oh nice man here's my wheels I'll show you these in a minute we're not ready for them yet Talking of little touches, Botech Penthouse Mark 5s, Toxic Barbie Pink, hey, it's all about the finishing kit. in the paintwork already it's not the first time I've dinged paintwork on a new bike Whoa, yes it's looking good so let's talk about wheels now then I uh, had these custom built by Big On Bikes at Little Eaton in Derbyshire. Great little place. There's, they just do mechanic in and spares. Uh, good service, good prices, uh, and a good turnaround. Highly recommended. Pro 4 Evo hubs came off a, a, an old set of wheels I've got. New Stands Flow Mark IV rims, nice and wide. Taped up. Fillmore valves. These are great Fillmore valves. I don't know if you've seen those. Uh, Put three times the volume of air in than you do with a normal Presta valve and the design so that they don't clog up with sealant. Uh, Maxxis uh, DHRs, uh, sorry DHFs uh, in 2.5 wide trails. Uh, uh, these have got the Max Terra wheels on for kind of drier weather. Shimano 1142 XT cassette. Shimano Ice Tech rotors and those titanium bolts I was talking about. Lovely, I've run a cush core inside and I use Stan's sealant and I find that all very reliable. That's me being quite mature. Yeah, I like these, I'm looking forward to these. The other set of wheels I'm running is a set of stock uh, Sonda Alpha, uh, well, not 29s, are they 29 and 27 5. They're nice wheels uh, and I'll be running those with the Max Grip tyres on, identical to this but with Max Grip tyres for you know, wet weather and when I need more grip when it's dry and loose and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I'll stick these on. Starting to resemble a bike. Not got brake pads in yet because I've got to do that full bleed. But I wanted to get the wheels on and have a look, really. Chain next. So I like to run KMC chains, uh, I find them dead reliable and dead long lasting and they're not directional either so you can't put them on wrong. Um, yeah they just last a long time, I've degreased it already as, it, as you may know they come covered in uh, foul sticky grease oil stuff when they come from the factory and you need to give them a full degreasing and a clean 
before you fit them and then I use a wax lube, I use squirt lube uh, and I find it really good. Uh, and the chains last ages, which is good for me. So I'm gonna get the chain on, get it sized uh, and then take it outside and we'll have a look at it in the sunshine, if the sun's still shining. And it wants a single link off. We'll see. I like the quick release links that come with KMC's as well. They're dead easy. And you can reuse them. They last ages. setting up for the gears today while the sounds are out. Reckon it's just about ready. I'll take it outside and we'll have a look in the sunshine, shall we? So here we go. It's not quite finished, a few bits to do. Got to get the cockpit set up properly, a few nuts and bolts to tighten. Uh, but that's the sum of it, really, it's looking good. Right then, sports fans, as you can see, I'm not in the shed anymore. Uh, I'm up on a peak somewhere just outside of Nelson in, on the South Island of New Zealand. Uh, I'm about four weeks on, just over four and a half, five weeks maybe from from the actual build, so I'm not in the shed anymore. Uh, thoughts, well, yeah. I've had a good, solid four weeks of riding. Not every day, but almost every day. Obviously, you have to take a few rest days here and there, let the old legs recover. They're not what they used to be. Neither is my face. Uh, yeah, I've got a bit of a suntan, Anna. Not much. Bit of an air cut since last time, although it's growing out again now, I'm ready for another. Don't know what that's got to do with the bike build. Uh, so, the bike, right, yeah, I'm super impressed, I've got to say. Um, I'm running the small frame, I'm only five feet six and a half, 168, 169, um, and it's perfect, it's perfect for me. I'm running the bars at 760. Uh, and, I, and I'm just finding it amazing, to be honest. Uh, I've got faster and faster on it as the weeks have gone by, as you get used to the bike. Obviously, I made quite a few changes, so the longer travel is nice. That's got me out of trouble a few times uh, on unexpected drops to flat and things like that. Um, the suspension platform's fabulous. Uh, I really like it. I really like it. Really supportive. Um, climbs well. I've just done. I've just climbed. I'm, I've been climbing for the last hour and a half to get to this point i'm about to drop into a double diamond trail could be spicy yeah so it climbs well that's for sure uh no problems there i haven't really noticed much of a difference between the 27 and the 29 but really i'd have to ride them back to back to know that overall i'm loving it i think um the best thing to do is is show you around uh, just talk you through it and explain a few things that I'm enjoying and a few things I'm not so keen on But that's not the bike's fault Right there she is So it's the 2024 Sonder Evol mullet frame 160 mil front and rear suspension That's fabulous working like a dream uh, I'm running the the wheels as I discussed before that's uh, Stands Flow Mark 4 rims on Hope Pro 4 Evo hubs. Fillmore Reserve valves, Cush Core in front and rear, Maxxis D 
DHR 2.5s front and rear in the Max Terra tread. Olin's RXF 36 M2 fork, they're just fabulous. The Olin suspension is just fabulous, I've got to say. Uh, I think it's the best suspension I've ever run. And the Olin's uh, uh, TTX2 rear shock there, 230 by 60, I think that is. Cockpit, rental bars, DMR death grips, XTR four pot brakes, XTR 11 speed shifter, and that nice little uh, race face dropper lever there. I quite like that. Hope headset, Bergtech, uh, 30mm stem for 35mm bars. 40mm rise on the bars, by the way. Rear wheel's the same, running XT1142 rear cassette, XTR rear mech. Ooh, my uh, cable end's not there. 203 mil ice tech rotors. I'm running organic pads because it's nice and dry out here, so I don't need to run uh, uh, scented pads. KMR 11 speed chain, uh, sorry, KMC 11 speed chain. Hope Evo 155 cranks, I'll tell you about those in a minute. That's a 32 chain ring, I think I said 32 earlier. And the MRP SXG uh, chain device, which is great. Uh, Bergtech pedals, not sure about those. I like them, plenty of grip, uh, nice feel, but they've got a really short axle as you can see here. And I'm used to DMR volts and they've, they've probably got another half inch sticking out. So I it keep it, my feet are a bit close. I clip the uh, rear rear triangle now and again. So I'm not sure about that. The 155 cranks, however, I think are fabulous. I really like where they put my feet position on the bike, it, and I feel much more kind of centered, and I've, I've got better control. And I've noticed no difference in terms of climbing whatsoever. So I'm really, I really, really like the 155 cranks. If you're thinking about going short cranks. Um, definitely give them a go. I really like them. Got the X Labs uh, Gorilla XT cage there. That fits a 500 mil bottle. I can get a 500 mil bottle in there. I've actually got one. Look over there. Um, but I can't get a bigger one in. Fox dropper, as you've seen, that's that's working nicely. And the Gobi XM KM saddle, which I love those saddles. Unfortunately, they stopped making them. So. Yeah, that's pretty much a rundown of the bike, I think. Hope BB30 in there. I think you can see that. Uh, love Hope BBs and headsets. They're just dead reliable and last forever. And the uh, Pro Guard Mud Guard, they're always useful. I think that's about it in terms of what's on the bike. It's just uh, uh, fabulous. I don't know. I don't know how much how much I can uh, go on about it, really. So yeah, I'm, re I'm really enjoying riding the bike. It's so nice on the trails. You know, it's, uh, I like the wheelbase. I like the shorter chain stay. It suits me better with having little legs. Uh, it's much more flickable. I can pre-hop stuff better than I did on the 29er. I, was, I found I was having to wrestle the 29er a bit. Uh, I'm not wrestling this. It's, it's floating around and it's, it's lovely. I really, really like it. Uh, one of the other things I'm not enjoying too much, but I knew that already, was the cush core in the front. I do find it a bit harsh in the front. I like them in the rear, but I put one in obviously for this trip because I needed it to be bomb-proof. Being out here for seven weeks and racing as well, really need to, you know, it's belt and braces, really. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I've got to tell you. If you're thinking of buying a Sonder Evo, get one on test. You can rent them from the stores. Uh, and they'd knock the cost of the rental off if you buy a bike. Uh, I'm recommending it, to be honest. I'm not much of a bike reviewer, but I know a good bike when, I, when I'm on one, and I know what works for me and how it feels. And this bike works for me. So you can check it out at alpkit.com. Um, click on the Sonder link within the web page. It's all, it's all the same web page. Um, you can check me out on Instagram, Himalaya underscore quest. Uh, there's also the Chase the Rainbow Facebook page. Where else have I got? I'm on Strava, Neil Cottam, if you want to have a look at what I'm doing. 
you can do that. Uh, I think I'm on Twitter, but I haven't used it for a long time. What else? Oh, yeah, I've done, I've done Instagram, haven't I? Done Instagram, done Facebook. Right, yeah. And don't forget to check out chaserainbow.co.uk. It's gone a bit fallow lately. The last couple of years, I've not done much, but I will be uh, firing that back up and doing some more writing. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. <laughs> whatever it is, wherever it is, whatever it does, I don't know. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.